All right, so we're going into a test event. When we land, we land in the reception area, which gives us a chat, a whole bunch of other stuff, tells us which things are currently live in the schedule. We've got our text that we type up and provide to kind of help people FAQ style. And then under that is the full schedule that people can see. We've got the stages. We've got the sessions, which is our villages and info booth. Networking pairs people with one another. We've also got the expo hall. So in the expo hall, if YouTube is the fallback provider, by default, YouTube is available when people come into the room. Or you could have Google Slides um, as the default provider. When you want to switch to being live, you hit this purple button here, toggle to turn on live sessions, and share audio and video. When you click that, it's going to ask you what uh, mic you want and what camera you want. And then you would say apply, and then you would pop up on the screen. I'm not going to do that since I am currently using my mic to record this. If an audience member requests to come on screen, you'll see that in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see their name. You can click on their name and it will allow you to bring them up onto the screen. You can then click the top right of their name or sorry of their square and kick them out if you want to kick them out. And so that's a way that you can interactively have video audio conversations with people. You can see at the booth here. Here's the information I've got. Here's a chat that I can have with the people uh, that have come to my booth. I can set up polls. I can individually chit chat with the people in my booth. There can be a Q&A going on in my booth and I can answer, uh, ask questions or answer questions. So test. And then people can upvote them and uh, they can get replied to. Or you can answer them verbally, but this allows anybody to kind of come in and see all the Q and A's in here. So hopefully that makes sense. And when you're done being live in your booth, maybe you've scheduled a specific time to be in your booth, you can hit that toggle and it will go back to the YouTube video. I suggest in the chat, if possible, you kind of say what your hours are gonna be for the day. Um, if there's specific times that you are gonna be live. So like, you know, I'll be back at 2 p.m. Pacific or whatever. And um, we can actually have someone come by and pin that message for you. If you let us know in advance, we can either post the message or we can pin your message so that people know when you're gonna be coming back. Or if you know in advance the hours that you wanna have, we could actually put it in your text area to say, you know, the booth will have someone for these sets of hours. Hopefully that makes sense on how to utilize your booth.